नमस्कार हाय हेलो वेलकम टू आस्क इन डिटेल और फेमस यूट्यूब चैनल इन रिचिंग नॉलेज टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द फोर्थ यूनिट ऑफ क्लास सिक्स कंप्यूटर सब्जेक्ट द नेम ऑफ द यूनिट इज ओपन शॉर्ट वीडियो एडिटर इट्स फोर्थ यूनिट ऑफ क्लास सिक्स सो वॉट आर द लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस यूनिट फ्रेंड्स प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड दैट दिस इज अ सॉफ्टवेयर एंड वॉट इज द यूज ऑफ दिस सॉफ्टवेयर we are going to see the name is open shot video editor it means that this software provides the facility to edit to change to make some improvements updations in the video it is a editor software and yes if you are using any software you must have to know the components of that software import how to import means how to add insert multimedia files like images audios videos musics and whatever you want to add then how to edit that you uh, video using different tools then how to give title and credit to the video a title at the beginning of the video credit at the end of the video how to change the properties of the video how to add transitions and effects transitions are nothing but the animation kind of effects uh, to the video then how to save the project how to separate audio and video in the video and how to export that is how to send the video so let's start with the session see open shot video editor is a, a famous software because it is very easy to use it's a powerful applica application for video editing creation of your own videos uh, new and uh, attractive kind of videos and it's very user friendly application it's very easy to create is very very easy to save and it's very easy to export that is send and share the video and the most important thing is that it can create a kind of slide show okay it's like a, a commercial advertisements or video films online films it's look like a um, one kind of presentation yes you can create presentations using this software now what is the uh, exactly what it looks like so this is the home screen interface you can call it interface means what a home screen of the application yes after opening the software it looks like the same there is a custom animation this custom animation uh, you can say a uh, bar just above it there is a menu bar file menu edit menu title menu view menu help menu this is a uh, menu bar and just above it the top at the top there is a title bar then at the the below the title bar there is a menu bar yeah, just below the menu bar there is a custom animation bar and here are the project files here is a function tab function tab means what the files which are uh, part of project transact transitions that is the animation part effects that is the another kind of uh, animated kind of part i will show you practically don't worry just we are looking at the points which we are going to cover in this video then here is a edit toolbar plus plus means what adding uh, adding a file uh, yes we'll see in detail all by all the things here is a razor uh, these are the points and yes we'll see then here is a zoom slide bar okay you can zoom if uh, if any image requires kind of attention now here is a playhead there are tracks are used to place the files i will show you practically timeline and we have already seen this practical in the class but we'll see in this video also uh, we will repeat the things next open shot video editor see main toolbar which uh, is shown in this yes custom animation that is main toolbar see what are the uh, signs what are the meaning of the signs the first one is a new project then open project look at these icons please concentrate on this icon save project it's saving size save icon then undo and redo you know very well we have gone through this in the class undo means reverse redo means again reverse reverse back okay import files plus uh, sign is used to insert the file that is if you want to insert image in the open shot video editor use this sign and then the dialog window or the o window will open and from that you can select the file and add it then full screen mode and finally export video after creation of video using this red button you can export your files now we'll go to next part that is 
uh, what kind of components are there video preview if you are making a video and if you want to see how it looks like so it called the preview mechanism preview means you can again view the your uh, video your created video for uh, for analyzing the creation for understanding the differences if you have any mistake or if you have done any uh, what we can say uh, any correction so you can see the exact uh, result of your creation then toolbar is there zoom slide bar is there and playhead ruler and timeline all the things just we have seen in the previous slide now here is the second thing identify the use of the highlighted area okay first now tell me you have to identify i have given time for you yes take five seconds or ten seconds i will just make commentary over it i will continue to talk but you have to identify these two things now after five to ten seconds i will tell you the name have you identified the name yes maybe because just before the few uh, slides we have gone through this so, so this is what is this and what is this so name out these two things okay now time up i will show you just go to the slide previous slide see this is custom animation and this is uh, this is a edit toolbar okay and in detail we have seen here main toolbar also okay now we'll go to next slide see how to start with the video editing in the open shot editor the first step is that import files uh, in the video editor see how this plus sign is used to import the files this plus sign when you click on this plus sign this kind of window will appear just select your image when you select it open it it will be added here in the project file area so this is the step now what you can do next after adding the file see when the file will be added in the project area just drag and drop that file here in the track area and if you have added 10 images so one by one you can arrange these images here in the track area i will show you practically don't worry now yes editing is an important part editing means what changing or making improvements or updating your video and for that purpose there is a toolbar plus sign is at track then see razor tool what is the use of razor razor is cutting part okay you can cut trim the things in the video then there is add marker marker for what what where you are working marking the point particular point and the marks will help you to understand the the task or the processes you are performing in the editing process okay the, so next marker and the previous marker so it helps to understand the uh, what exact points of uh, editing see razor track razor means what you can just split cut cut as i said it cuts the part it makes it's uh, it makes separation it makes uh, splitting or it makes some uh, different parts from the same okay so it cuts the um, the the element of a video add marker what is the use of mark marking positions as i said you can understand uh, the exact point of processing from these markers you you can also um, say that a marker can i uh, can catch the attention of the user see point of interest so it's it get very easy to get the attention of the user now the next thing editing a video editing a video means what zoom slider he is here in the editing zoom as you can see the difference zooming helps you to catch the attention yes yes it is also help you to get the attention of the user now we'll see the next thing edit uh, adding title and credit in the video yes click the title menu for adding title to the video yes without title you cannot uh share or you cannot show your video because there must be a title from the title the people will understand what the video is all about so title important then the second step is that just uh, the title window has a number of different types of templates what kind of templates see these are the templates templates means what yes yes for example that if you are watching a movie 
एट द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द मूवी द टाइटल ऑफ द मूवी इज शोन इन अ फैंटेस्टिक मैनर इन एनिमेटेड मैनर इन अटेंटिव एंड अट्रैक्टिव मैनर सो दैट द अटेंशन ऑफ द यूजर गेट्स अट्रैक्टेड टूवर्ड्स द टाइटल फैंटेस्टिक टाइटल लाइक सुपर स्टार देन पावर स्टार मैग्नेटिक स्टार एंड दिस काइंड ऑफ टाइटल्स ओके सो टाइटल गेट गेट इंपॉर्टेंट gets importance from the viewer so next thing is that yes what are the things changing clip properties okay what kind of properties are there fade fade means what getting uh, hidden from the main part okay getting uh, disappeared in a slow manner They, that is what is fade in fade in fade up fade out okay so these kind of things are there then animation animation means what moving the things making things movable that is what is a simple logic of animation rotate means what flipping or moving the the object in a clockwise manner or in a anti clockwise manner that is what is rotating then the changing clip properties so what kind of properties are there layout layout means what uh, suppose if you are watching anything on a screen so if you make it uh full screen so now you are making changes in the layout layout means when nothing but the uh, view of the thing that is what is layout view of the thing view of the video that is layout so how to change the layout yes it's very easy the same title or the same menu is there time yes time is very important if you want to increase the speed of the video uh, speed of the video running or you if you want to uh, reduce the speed of the video running you can do it so it makes fast uh, playing of that video or slow playing of the video now volume yes you can boost the volume if the given vol volume is not uh, properly uh, listen uh, listenable by the people or the audience uh, so you can make the volume larger okay so separate the audio slice yes so you can just separate make the separate audio from the video and you can have a different audio to the video you can make a, a background audio different kind of attachment separately now transform transform means what changing the form form means what uh, suppose if someone is looking uh, simple okay suppose this uh, this vehicle is looking very simple and if you want to change it so you can use transform transform means what you can change the color you can change the action you can change the effect of that particular object like say blue handles middle uh, circle so you can make changes in the look so that is what is transform transform changing the loop then properties every object has a properties like size height width length these are the properties of objects so you can make changes in the properties also adding transitions and effects and adding transitions and effects see transitions are nothing but changes in the video changes in the object changes updations improvements in the uh, the elements of the video like images or videos see clip 1 and clip 2 in between that there is a transition what kind of transition uh, suppose Uh, one image is coming from the left upper corner in the screen suppose another image is coming from the right upper corner of the, of the screen so this kind of transitions making effects or movements giving movements to the object so this that is what is adding transition see now this is transition the image will look like this or image will uh, represent like this appears like this if you select this from the central part will image appear slowly so these are transitions effects nothing but the given animation kind of thing now thing the other thing adding transition and effect it's very simple friends it is already shown in the previous uh, slide see these are the uh, first of all it shows project files then when you click here transitions are there transitions will look like this just drag and drop here in the track same like images and transition will get applied to that particular image now transition properties what are the, what are the transition properties when you want to apply uh, for what time you want to apply that is what is transition timing related things effects see how can you add effects effects are like bars blur effect then crop effect hue effect 
so effects also gives one effect name itself suggests that effect means effective kind of uh, processes or if you want to make your um, thing image or any kind of uh, object effective so you can add this so it becomes attentive attractive that's the use of this facility then export export video export means what sending the video sharing the video to the another person or on the another computer see how to export just look at this icon remember the icons friends because it helps you to understand the things export means what sending the video then there is another thing see while export you must have to give name to your project uh, suppose you are creating a, a video of a particular cartoon or a particular entity or object so you must have to give that name to that project for better understanding of what we are going to creating what is our creation so this is how uh, open shot editor uh, view editor software will help you now i will show you practical so for practical purpose we have to open our famous software that is open shot editor now i will tell you how to download it for that purpose you have to go to google browser or google chrome or any other web browser whichever you uh, use or whichever available in your system like microsoft edge or google chrome and just type here open shot video editor download when you enter the uh, button or when you start searching this website will appear just click on this website and after opening the website you will get a button of download just see my friends here is a button download button okay and what is the current version of this uh, software the v stands for version and name number of the version is 3.2.1 just click on this download button then download process will start i will show you what is the size of this yes look at the size 189 mb and yes our uh, data speed is very very much faster as you can see it's very fast only in one minute the software will get uploaded to uh, two three mbps or five mbps speed is there so within a second the software will gets downloaded after download uh, after downloading the software i will tell you the next step yes friends downloaded the software we have downloaded it just open it or just click here for installation purpose installation will start within a second as you can see yes it is asking for our permission just click on yes and click on ok now accept the agreement click on next yes create a desktop shortcut and then next till i will search if the software is available on smartphone or not for your convenience yes friends uh, you, as you can see download and installation is completed now i will click on finish and yes i have searched that this software is available for android phone also i will show you i will just go back yes and just type that uh, open shot video editor download for android now click on search button and if yes now you can see the result open shot for android yes it is available as you can see it is available for computer as well as it is available for smartphone so you can download it also it's very easy just click on the link and link is here yes you can just check it for it is it is for android or uh, available for android or not and yes it is available if it is available you can just download that apk file otherwise just search for the apk file so apk will run easily on your smartphone now we'll open the software here we are inside the application as you can see friends this is the title bar as we have already learned this in the previous session and in the class also the top most bar is title bar here the name of title is untitled because the name was not given to the project 
then the next thing is menu bar the famous menus are there file menu edit menu title menu view menu okay we'll see one by one then there is a this is the main thing this is the standard toolbar you can say okay then there is a project file area where you can have a, all the things you can see all whatever you added in the project video you can add a video audio image and just keep it show all keep it as it is then what kind of things are do are available here project files can be seen transitions are there effects and there and emojis are there now we'll see one by one practically also first of all here is a timeline area or timeline bar area what is the use of this you adding track already tracks are already there so no need to uh, add it again and again if it is required you can add it then there is a razor button razor is as uh, we have just read it read about it razor is just a kind of a tool like a separation tool or splitting tool okay it just cut the object now there are some marks and uh, yes fine here is a preview area where we can see the result of our creation here are the tracks and we'll see we'll start yes we'll directly start see here is the import file yes we will start from this and look at the other icons also new project open project this is a save project and this is a uh, choose file here is a full screen um, view and finally export button okay now the first thing is that just click on this import file i will import file in front of you just look at the files yes i will download this file first open click on open say project file will appear will appear here and again i will uh, import one file which is at the end i think yes see the image is here now there are two files okay now how to do how to do a uh video making how to start with the video making so just click here and drag and drop this image here in the track area after adding this image now how to use a transition transitions are like this see just i will drag and drop this transition on the image so when image appear on the screen it will appear in this transition pattern see just play it and have the experience see superb kind of transition so this is the use of open shot editor and the transition effects okay how what kind of effects here you can do i will just take another image just drag and just drag and drop this image in the track area go to effects now see what kind of effects we we can apply i will okay i will apply this brightness ka effect and just keep it on the screen see it is applied now we'll see the preview just look at this preview window slowly tiger image appear in the transition effect now the next image will appear with the applied effect brightness effect see the brightness is increased of the increase of the image so in this way these effects will help us to make fantastic videos and okay now okay fine again i will show you the use of this emoji i will take this emoji here just add and on that emoji yes see will yes we can uh, give effect to emoji also we'll see another effect yes see take this apply on the emoji and now play it again see the entire video it's like a film making it's like a video making see one image after that second image with a brightness and third emoji with another effect of transition see how slowly emoji is getting appeared superb creation now one thing that i want to show that see in the on the second uh, if a second image i have applied one uh, effect okay but i will i can also apply transitions on the same image see how can we apply we'll just select the attract yes kya baat hai this is one kind of attractive transition see 
I have applied. Now I will play the video again. See, I will just keep here and yes, start. Look at the preview here, please. Yes, tiger appeared in the same way as per the transition. Now the second image, see, brightness as well as transition effect, see, superb effects and finally emoji in the given transition or animation pattern. So, this is all about the video editing. Now, what else you can do? Yes, see. What, what kind of things you can add here? You can add track. But instead of this, you can add many things. See, just uh, next to it, choose profile. Full screen. Okay, add. And what kind of things you can add? Im images as well as videos. See, videos, audios, images. Images, only images will appear because we have not added any audio or video. You have not applied, we have not used any music as a background you can add it you can use it okay if it is required now i will go to menu bar see what kind of things are there you can create new project open the existing project save the project import files etc and export button also now go to edit what kind of things are there undo and redo as per the theoretical part then title title to the project you can give it here animated titles are also there it's a, it's very attracting point it's very uh, popular thing then view menu what kind of things are there you can just make it full screen and you can just change the views also and finally help menu is there remember all these things and yes if you like this video please uh, share subscribe and press bell button thanks for watching bye for now and if you have any query feel free to ask in the comment thank you